And yet, with fear of terrorists among the Syrian refugees, Illinois Governor Bruce Rauner has temporarily blocked efforts to allow Syrians seeking asylum here. NBC 5's Charlie Wojciechowski is in our newsroom now with more on this refugee backlash. Charlie? And Allison, Rauner is not alone. While the president says he is standing by his plan to accept 10,000 Syrian refugees over the next year, governors across the country and here in Illinois are racing to shut the door. It was a possibly stolen or fake Syrian passport found near the remains of a suicide bomber outside the French soccer stadium that led authorities to believe that at least one of the eight men responsible for the attacks in Paris may have entered the country with waves of refugees only a month ago. Now, more than a dozen governors, including Wisconsin's Scott Walker, Indiana's Mike Pence, and Illinois' Bruce Rauner are saying they will no longer accept Syrian refugees in their states. The decision, a shock to groups like the Council on American-Islamic Relations. I was outraged, I think, that to refuse to accept Syrian refugees flies in the face of American principles. In a statement, Rauner said we must find a way to balance our tradition as a state welcoming of refugees while ensuring the safety and security of our citizens. Chicago's mayor sounded a note of caution. I think there's a lesson to be learned in uh, what happened in Paris, that as they uh, vet people and their background, that the United States government is vigilant. So far this year, the State Department says 94 Syrian refugees have settled in Illinois. Among them, the Turkmani family, who fled the violence in their homeland. But some in Congress say there is also a risk that terrorists may slip through with families seeking asylum. We know from intelligence reports uh, directly from ISIS and Al-Qaeda that they would like to exploit the refugee program. Still, Islamic groups say we cannot turn our back on the human suffering in Syria and must do more to help European countries struggling with a growing migrant crisis. The people who are running, the refugees, are running from the very people that we're trying to protect ourselves from. Tonight, Mark Kirk and other senators are sending a letter to the president asking him to reevaluate his policy on Syrian refugees. Kirk says no Syrian refugee should be admitted to the U.S. unless the administration can guarantee with 100 percent assurance that they are not members, supporters or sympathizers of ISIS. Rob. And Charlie, despite the attacks, Mayor Emanuel will go ahead with a trip to Paris planned for next month. He's set to attend the climate summit for local leaders on December 4th. Today, he met with the French consul and offered his support for Paris. I think all of us are strengthened as we see both with the resolve and the resilience of the French people and the Parisians in particular. And as I said to the consul general, know that you have friends here in Chicago. The mayor also said that right now there is no credible threat to Chicago.